Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the animal food and from where do the animal get their food. In my previous videos, we have discussed about the plants here, uh, about different plant products as the food and different parts of plant which we consume as a food. In this video, we will be discussing about animals. So animals, they are categorized into three categories herbivore carnivore and omnivores herbivores are the animals which eat only the plants carnivores are the animal which eat only the other animals as their food and omnivore animals can eat both plant as well as other animals as their food so here in the activity uh, 1.5 table 1.5 animals and their food we have the list of animals on the uh, left hand side and the right hand side food that animal eats so that food the animal will eat you have to list it so buffalo will eat grass oil cake hay grains etc here and cat uh, will be eating small animals birds milk etc rat will also be eating small other uh, insects and milk bread whatever bread we give to rat Lion will eat only the other animals, tiger which will eat only the other animals, spider will eat only the other small insects which are trapped in its web, house lizards will eat other and small insects, crow can, uh, sorry, cow can eat only grass, human beings eat both animal as well as plants, butterfly will only uh, take the nectar from the uh, flowers. Crow can eat plants as well as uh, animals uh, and any other example if you have you can classify here. So this is the table here. So this is where we can classify and then after classifying them on the basis of their food which they are eating we have to categorize them as herbivore, carnivore or omnivores. So example is given to you here on table 1.6 as cow is a herbivore because it only eat grass goat buffalo sheep uh, elephant zebra giraffe all this will come under herbivore animals carnivore animals lion tiger leopard then eagle all this will come under carnivore animal omnivores animal dog crow man cat all this will come under omnivores animals so I hope this categorization of animals on the basis of their food habits as herbivore, carnivore and omnivores are clear to you. Uh, so let us move further in this uh, chapter that is page number 6. So here we come with the exercise. Exercise the keywords, new keywords we have learned in this chapter is ingredient. Ingredient are those substance which we are adding inside the food. For preparing a dish whatever raw materials we are taking they are called as ingredients for that dish then edible edible means those things which we can eat um, non-edible means the things which we cannot eat that are non-edible and edible means which we can consume and they are safe to consume that are called as edible nectar is a uh, uh, sugary or sweet juice inside the uh, flowers of the plant that's called nectar sprouted seeds are those seeds in which the roots have started to grow uh, when they are kept in the water overnight so these are the sprouted seeds herbivore animal will eat only grass carnivore animals will eat other animals omnivores animal can eat grass as well as other animals so here the definition is given to you you have to learn this definition as it is um, that animals that which eat only plants are herbivores animals which eat only animals are carnivores and animals which eat both plant as well as animal are called omnivores in the summary the last three points are the definitions which you have to learn as it is then um, there are lots of variation in food eaten in different regions of India because uh, the reason is this that in different parts of country the climatic uh, conditions are different and on the basis of climatic condition the food grown is different that's why in different part of our country there are different types of food habits seen the main source of our food is plants and animals is the basic uh, thing which we have understood in this chapter exercise now question number one do you find that all living beings need the same kind of food 
so no all living being does not need the same kind of food some of the living being they need plants some they need animals some eat both so different animal organisms have different food requirements question number 2 name five plants and their parts that we eat that we have covered in one activity in my video uh, which you can refer which different parts of plants which we eat so let me just uh, describe in short five plant parts that we eat so we leaf leaf of spinach then flower of cauliflower then uh, roots of carrot and radish and then fruits like tomato banana all these are fruits and seeds like uh, groundnut seeds and all pulses are the seeds then match the column so here in column a milk curd paneer and ghee so all these are the animal products so last column all are animal products is the answer then spinach cauliflower and carrot are all vegetables and lion and tigers eat other animals the first column and the herbivores eat plants and plant products fill in the blank let us see a uh, fill, fill up the blank number 1 tiger is a dash because it eats only meat so tiger will be a carnivore animal deer eats only plant products and so it's called as herbivore animal parrot eats only dash products plant products so it will be a herbivore animal the dash that we drink which comes from the cow buffalo and goat is an animal product the milk that we drink so milk is the answer of d and e we get sugar from sugar cane juice or sugar cane on, only is written so write sugar cane the next is suggested uh, project activity so you must see a garden lizard around your home next time when you see it observe carefully and find out what food it takes uh uh so which it consumes small insects then uh, you have to make uh, you take uh, take a map of india and in that you can paste different different food items that are prepared on uh, different parts of our country it will be a very good project for you then find out the name of plant that grow in water which are eaten as food so the lotus grows in the water some of the um herbs and uh, algae they grow in water which are consumed as food algae are the small plants unicellular plants which grow in the water which are green color sometimes purple color also so they are consumed as food then critical thinking does everyone around you get enough food to eat if not why everyone around us does not get food to eat because uh, uh either they may be very poor they cannot buy the food or the food there is food scarcity uh, in the country so how can we manage that by managing our agricultural uh, practices nicely and following all the rules and guidelines of the government of storing it properly of utilizing it of transporting it properly so that it can reach the maximum people second what are the ways we can think of to avoid the wastage of food when uh, first of all inside your home when you are having any food don't leave any waste in your plate complete all your uh, food which is given by your mom or take only the portions which you can finish and then second in marriage parties or there if the food is remaining leftover food there are certain ngos which take they come to your house collect that food and they distribute to the poor people who don't have the food to eat so such type of services can be encouraged and so we can fulfill the food requirements of so many people i hope this topic of uh, animal uh, and their food habit is clear to you subscribe my channel for more such educational videos like and share it with your friends thank you for watching